Alright guys, here is a uh, finished model of the uh, Hobbit King um, Tiger Moth. Uh, this is the 1400mm uh, version. Uh, it comes in a kit with very limited instructions. You have to have prior build experience to uh, build something like this. And uh, this is uh, my rendition. Um, Obviously, I went with uh, camo for the top side. I went yellow for the bottom. And uh, that's what they did because when the uh, World War II, the guys, uh, were they, you know, the planes were on the ground, they'd be camouflaged, but they certainly were visible up in the, um, in the air. So uh, these uh, guide wires are... Pretty much working guide wires. They're not just for looks. Uh, I ended up putting a uh, an NGH gasoline 9cc motor in here, and um, it's turning a 117 uh, APC prop uh, stock wheels. Um, there's the setup for the, uh, which I haven't hooked them up yet, uh, for the rudder and elevator. And here I have my off and on switch for the, uh, the motor and then for the servos and the uh, receiver. And up here is a tachometer. I had one so I figured I'd, I'd put it in there. And we got an 8 ounce fuel tank. So I got a fix up those wires, make sure they're all tucked out of the way, but I did want to give a, uh, a visual, take some video of this, uh, this, uh, model, because, uh, I know in my research and doing this, it, um, it really helped, you know, um, the, uh, the struts, I, um, permanently attached them to the spars. I permanently attached the top uh, wing and I basically permanently attached the uh, the whole wings because I certainly wasn't going to go and trying to re-rig this wire and slide them out and, and it's just way too much. The model is not that big. It could easily fit in the back of my uh, pickup truck. Uh, somebody's uh, SUV um, It's uh, it's not that hard. It's actually um, it, It's it, it fit inside a vehicle pretty good. So that's it guys and um, Thanks for watching. Have a good one The, the Haviland Tiger Moth